us about your success journey. I've been very fortunate. You know, I came to Wall Street uh, in the early 90s, and I was part of that generation of physicists and mathematicians who came to bring the entirely new perspective on finance and risk. And when I describe that t time period, it's, it's almost like I'm describing being a, an applied scientist who comes to work every day and talks to your, uh, you talk to your colleagues and you say, have you read this scientific paper or that scientific paper? And you almost would forget that you are in a real company doing real work but it's been an incredibly exciting uh, intellectual period where risk management and finance became a fully developed scientific discipline. And, I, and I've um, continued working on a lot of these themes for quite some time. That's fascinating how to approach business from the scientific angle of it. And as you said, it, it hasn't been done before. Well, it was, it was quite revolutionary at the time. It, it's, it's amazing. It's been so many years since then. But as all of these models and experiences uh, have been developed and perfected over the years, the challenge became not necessarily to continue developing these super sophisticated models, but to apply them in new ways. So one of the biggest challenges that has persisted ever since was to connect risk management and financial modeling to the way that boards of directors and executives make decisions.